Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 30 of Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. Alright, I did a small bit of training here and there over on the uh, Looper Land. And I boosted Ika's uh, agility by one point because some of those uh, Loopers can drop Dexa seeds. Or I drop other kinds of seeds too, but that's the only one we got. So, I gave it to her. I figured if I get stat boosting seeds from like random encounters, I'll use them. But other ones I might hold on to. So we're pretty much on the eastern side of the Valoran continent. You know where you get the dancing lights, just go through that trench and there you go. That's how you reach the Maw of Tardis, from within. Unfortunately, we will not have a compass here, so we gotta rely on our own navigation. And there's a very wide cave as well. I mean, look at all this. It's nuts. Alright, what are we fighting here? We got Stalk Fiend and Nayred. Okay, so I think green would work good here against this. Um, do I want to go green with you as well? Might as well. Luckily, our starting spirit is now at 13. An utter victory. It'll get us a little bit closer to using uh, the uh, Reign of Swords on turn one. We're just not there yet. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Just had a fight, and now we gotta have another one. Oh, look at the size of this freak. Draco Lurg. Yikes on bikes, this one could be tough. I think green works on it too, does it? I think it's the first time we've seen a creature like this. Oh, if you're wondering why Ika's name is in green, I gave her the defensive aura we got a while back. So I think that'll help her out. Sure, it would be better for Fina. However, I want to keep her with the uh, Constitution gem. That would be better for her. Now see? Because of that, the counterattack does zero. gains there for a magic experience, but what can you do? Oh god, look at this area now. I'm gonna try going through here first. If I end up missing things, don't be surprised. Oh, couple more new enemies. Shrilp! What a great name. I think everybody should go purple for this one. Okay, they don't seem that tough. Okay, it'll probably take... Yeah, I think you pretty much have to use a special move to wipe him early. Oh, 
god, that's annoying. Their normal attack can cause a weakened status. That's not good. Level up. Okay, Vise and Enrique are the only ones that don't have maxed out purple. I had to put like a little notepad file so I can keep track and supervise how everyone is doing on their magic. I don't have it open, by the way, so I'm not gonna have any point of reference now. But I think Vi so far Vise is the one with the lowest amount of silver experience. And I think pretty much everybody is at five for blue. And nobody at six for blue. So that's pretty much how it goes. Vi still gotta get his uh, green maxed out. And he's just not there yet. Not that I'm going to have him using much magic anyway, but it's good to have. Okay, at least these that guys are weak. Bad. Not a fan of this area being so large, because what if I go the wrong way? Yeah, this looks like a dead end. Let's see what this crystal's all about. This is the first time I've seen it. And of course, as soon as I get there, we got another fight. Oh god, another new enemy. Carnalac. They're all blue this time. Um, I think purple work against blue as well, didn't it? Here goes. These, uh, Nairads kind of look like Pokemon. I'm on, like, a Chincho. Remember that? But also a potato. Oh, these ones have Slumber Dust as well. Same as their predecessor. Alright, Enrique being put to sleep is not the end of the world. A hassle, yes, but... Oh god. Now I know it's going to make a big impact, because this guy's still alive. I thought Reign of Swords would be enough. Great, I'm going to need to heal after this. There we go. We did it. All right, what does this crystal do? I'll let you know if I can do anything with it. Oh, I wasn't close enough. That's what it was. And it had a Dexa seed too. Yeah, we're kind of a bit torn to shreds at this point. So all we have to do is go all the way back. Because all we got was a seed. Which is nice. But I wanted that to also be the way to progress. I gotta go all the way back to the big area again. 
Alright, I'm in the big area again, and this time I'm gonna go this way. Alright, this looks different, thankfully. Again, wish I had a minimap for this. The minimap would have been great. The spitball in here. Oh, this uh, ass again. I think I should have you guarding, because I think we're just... Like, you're just gonna get messed up. If you even try to hit it. Frost Breath? Ouch, it hits everyone? Took a big bite out of the prince. That's not good. All right, get out of here. You're too heavy for this ship. I'll just use a Sackum Crystal now. Never know when that uh, big derg will come back. Also, I just realized I have over 250,000 gold. Holy shit. We're gonna have a big shopping spree after this. Oh, it turns out one of those enemies dropped a fiber mail. Wait, didn't I already have a fiber mail? Yeah, I think I had this before. I mean, it lowers some of my stats, but the defense is cool. Oh, can Enrique wear it? No, he, I don't think he can. We have fiber robe. I kind of like the extra attack on buys. So I'll stick with what I got. I'm gonna go this way first. Personally not a fan of like some of these junctions going a long way. You know what I mean? It just feels like it goes, like, the entire Valoran continent six times over. Like, I don't know why these had to be so large. So you probably have, like, five or six fights by the time you reach the end of the tunnel. Then you gotta go back and do it again. Oh, look, this is probably just for another reward. Alright, this better be something good. I'm going through all this trouble and I have to backtrack again. Oh, it's a Moonberry. How many Moonberries do I have, anyway? Oh, I had five! I could have unlocked this earlier! Enrique summons one enemy to the Colosseum to be judged for its crimes. Costs only 16 SP, though. Yeah, too bad I haven't been increasing his attack a nice bit, because I'm sure that would have been great. Like, have an attack, do massive damage to one foe, and cost 5 SP less. He's got a long way to go to catch up to Vise, I'll tell you that much. At least I'm still gaining levels. Ika's at 46 now. But I still need an extra one spirit point to finally use Reign of Swords on turn one. And if we can do that, we'd be in business. I hope this is the correct way.
Because all I'm doing is going straight from the, uh, where that came from. So I swear to God, if I got turned around and I have to do it all again, I'm going to be pissed. But it looks like we are going the correct way, because this safe way looks different. Excellent. We made it to the end of this area. Huh? What's this? Oh, I was supposed to interact with that. It must be down here at the bottom. How far down can we go? Oh. Can I go down more? I'm trying to look for a spot to land. Maybe I gotta land right in the middle? Is that it? Where the frick do you land then? Do I go up? It's going down to nothing. Uh oh. Hi. You must be the Yellow Gigas. Is that? That is Yelagar! The Yellow Gigas! Hmm. Huh. Silver Fight Mages managed to put him to sleep. Then they sealed him in here. Yelagar is extremely powerful, so it's best that we don't wake him. The crystal is in Yelagar's possession. We have to find a way to remove it without waking him. I guess we settle for brute force then. Great! He's awake! If we stay here, we won't be able to dodge the lightning. We have to get away from him. Engines, full reverse! I guess that's one way to break that seal. Peace was no longer an option. We have to fight. This is bad! He made breaking the seal look easy! This isn't a good sign. It looks like we're gonna have to fight him to get the crystal. Battle stations! Let's take that thing down! Yelagar! Ancient records say its thunder tore open the skies themselves, and its roar shook the ground. Whoa! Doesn't sound like a very friendly Gigas. Fies? We should be extra careful! Of course. The only way I can be careful is if I heard it a lot. Alright, everybody start focusing. I think doing one hit should be fine. And use the rest of our time to build up our uh, SP. Let's see what you're going to be doing for your first attack. You, you just sit there and relax. Don't worry about us. Is 
just had to have another nap. You didn't get enough rest. Yeah, that's it. Maybe that's why you're cranky. Good thing I did recover all my health from that giant looper fight. Photon charge? Under 3,000. It's fine. Ooh, that was a good shot. But yeah, barely made a dent in its health bar. This boss probably has like over 100,000 HP. So we may end up being here all day. All right, I got an idea. Oh, we don't have a Moonstone Cannon ready, sadly. I think we could try... It only goes that far. Man, if only I had my other secondary cannon ready. But I don't. So I'm thinking the torpedo will have to do. Actually, we could do this. I think this will work fine. Yeah, why don't I just put it here? We have another torpedo ready to go next turn. Okay, I can make this work. That did a little less. So, there's no way we can lose this unless I absolutely became stupid. <laughs> but it's just gonna be one of those fights that take a long time. I don't know, it's just... I feel like this is one of the lower points of the game when you know you can win, but it takes forever because there's a lot of waiting involved. So you don't really have an engaging battle. It just feels boring. How much does Voltigar do? A little more than just Photon Charge. So that's the attack you gotta watch for. Kind of forgot to change my loadout from the giant looper fight when I had two torpedoes. But who knows, it might work out for the best. It looks kind of flat. Maybe we should try attacking from above or below. It might be easier to hit that way. Uh, let's try attacking from below. Because it seems to have a soft underbelly. Let's try attacking from underneath. Maybe its underside is softer than the rest of it. Well, it puts us in more danger, but that's okay. Oh yeah, this will work fine. We'll get a lot of chances to attack at this very time. In fact, I'm gonna let you join in too, Fina. Get a crystal in while you're at it. That missed! That sucks. Oh, and our buff is gone too, so it won't do as much. Well, not that it made a difference on whether we hit that first attack. 
Oh, big round. That was a big turn. Oh, that was nice too. have the cannon ready as well. Make sure our SP is still high enough. Indeed it is. Not even at half. <laughs> Seriously. Damn! Not a single weak point. Um, more importantly, is it just me or does that thing look a little more active? Is the seal weakening on it or something? Perhaps. For whatever the reason, it appears to be building up for some sort of attack. I wish there was some way we could knock it off balance like we've done with all the other Gigas. But it's just too big! Anything short of the Moonstone Cannon probably won't even make that thing budge! Yeah, why aren't we using it? It's right there. Alright, I'm gonna need you to apple wax this thing. I'm gonna need you to, uh, focus. And I'm gonna need you to start hitting it. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be missing this uh, Yamato spirit once we get a new cannon. Cause this one's been serving us well for so long. And it's hard to just give it up. No, that's the name of the attack. It's setting up for the thing. Let's go. in the orange. And now it can't do a thing to us. Alright! I did it! It's off balance! Aha! Leave it to the Moonstone Cannon. Alright everyone, now's our chance. Open fire! Alright, open season on this motherfucker right now. Ruling, I might as well. Hope I didn't use up too much SP. Moonstone cannon, fire. Nope, it's downed. We win. Ooh, a Captain Stripe and a Thunder Cutlass.
We did it! That wasn't easy. You think Valor would have noticed? It's amazing that we were able to get it before the Armada. Well, since we got the Yellow Crystal, we should head back to Crescent Isle. This is the fifth Moon Crystal that we've collected. And now, my quest is finished. Vina. That means she can probably head back home. I mean, her civilization already has the other one. It's a shame we're gonna miss her. Oh my god, I had that Captain Stripe from before and I forgot to use it. The one from the giant looper. Oh well. At least it's now applied. Alright, Thunder Cutlass is only 7 points better. But it's still better. So put it on. Look at that, we're victorious. Back to Crescent Isle we go. Or how lined up am I to it? I'm ah, pretty lined up. It's fine. Things are coming along swimmingly in this quest. Hey. Hey, long time no see. Wow, you got yourself a nice little base set up here. Ooh. Gilder! I heard that you sailed around the world. As always, kid. Sounds like you've been trying to get yourself into more trouble. I came here to hear all about your travels. That, and for a good meal. Haha, <laughs> good old Gilder. Pleasure before business. So you went to Yafotoma and then on to the Land of Ice, huh? Just listening to your stories makes my adrenaline flow. And so in the end, you collected the five moon crystals. Nice work. Yep, we got them all. And since all of them are together, I suppose that means Fina will be taking them with her when she heads home soon. Yes. Actually, there was something that was bothering me from earlier. Fina, where exactly did you come from? I mean, where are you going home to? Fina? The place to which I must return. The place where both Ramirez and I were born and raised is the Great Silver Shrine. It is in a place high above the sky. The Great Silver Shrine? Long ago, when the rains of destruction fell upon the lands and most of the world's population was killed, all seemed lost. The most powerful Sylvine mages met at the shrine. They combine their energy to send it into the sky, above the destruction. They escape the horrible fate that fell upon the rest of the world, by rising above the destruction. Ever since then, from above, we have sworn to protect the people of this world from the same fate that our ancestors suffered. That is the primary mission of the remaining Sylvites. 
The Great Silver Shrine is high above the clouds, where no ship can reach it. I plan to take the Moon Crystals back to the Great Silver Shrine, so that no one will ever be able to abuse their power again. But, how are you going to get home? If I can get back the ship that I came in, then I should be able to make it home. But, when I was attacked by Valua, my ship sank beneath the clouds. Yes, I remember. You're talking about that ship you were flying when Alfonso attacked you. Hmm. It appears that we must find another way of getting Fina home. But, if we find a way to get Fina back home... Does that mean we'll have to say goodbye? We'll never get to see her again. Lately, I sometimes find myself thinking. I started thinking, if I'm unable to find a way home, that I'll be able to stay here, with everyone. <sighs> I'm sorry. That's so silly of me. My orders were to gather the Moon Crystals and to return to the Great Silver Shrine with them. Meanwhile... Ramirez, what is the status on the construction of Dangrel Island? Yes, my lord. The construction of the port is complete. And Deloco's flagship is currently being fitted so that it will be able to submerge into deep sky. I've also received word that the elevator leading to the bottom of deep sky has been completed as well. <laughs> Excellent. The time grows near. Soon, the foolish Empress and the rest of the people of the world will bow before my might. No. Not just the people. The people and even those revered moons. Soon, they will all be in my grasp. The people, the lands, and even the moons, they will belong to me. You shall reign supreme, Lord Galcian. Tomorrow morning, I will leave for Dangrel. I wish to oversee the final stages of the construction myself. And tell the other admirals to assemble at Dangrel. I wish to know where they stand. Yes, Lord Galcian. I walk the path of death and destruction. I know you are a Sylvite. If you wish to change your mind, now is the time. I chose long ago to walk the path that you walk upon, Lord Galcian. I shall forever be at your side. And I will cut down any of those that block our path. It is my duty. It is my purpose. That's honestly one of the uh, shining lights of this game. Like I know sometimes the combat is slow and I complain about it, but what really shines is that all the heroes and villains are so memorable. Like, that, to me, is really the best part. Oh, I should check on that tavern. It's It should have all its stuff now, right? Now that my kitchen is fully stocked, I can start cooking the good stuff. Actually, would you like me to make something for you to help you on your mission? All the sailors used to call it a poly special. I just need ten gruels. They're a specific type of flying fish. Yeah, I got 10 girls right here. Wow, you're always prepared, aren't you, Fives? Just sit tight. One poly special coming right up. Thanks for waiting. Here you go. It will heal your wounds as well as replenish your magic. But it takes a little while to take effect, so don't eat it during a battle. How many gruels do I have? Because having a few poly specials uh, might be really helpful. Oh, I, I can get four more poly specials. I don't know if I'm going to do it all right now, though.
I should head back to the lift to see how Domingo's doing. Since I got a hell of a lot of discoveries made, I should be able to get the next tier of reward for him, from him. So let's uh, check that out right now. Maybe some other shops can be upgraded next? Hey. Hey, Vice, how's it going? Still trying to explore as much of the world as you can, I see. Aha! You made 87 discoveries! Now that's impressive! You really are something else. You're one of the greatest explorers of our time. You've earned this. A white map? But I already have a white map. That just helps you run f away from foes easier. That's a shit reward! Oh well, I'll come see him again when I have the discovery log completed. Wow, that, that just sucks ass. Getting something I already have. That I don't even need. Like, why can't you just give me, like, another seed? You know, stat boosting? I would rather that. I don't even run from fights, for fuck's sake. Hello. Hello, boys. Can I help you? What do you got? Ah, here we go. This is the good stuff. I should just get some more Rizalem crystals. I mean, what the hell, some more magic do will, you know, do. Hmm, the shop is adequate, but it's lacking some of the more sophisticated equipment. If I could purchase some, it would be possible to make better medicines. What's better than what you have? You've got good stuff already! Here, I'll give you a thousand gold. Really? Are you sure? Thank you very much. I'll get started on renovating the lab right away. Look, I wish I could sell you better stuff, but the best I can do is like an item that fully restores all your HP when you die. I'm sorry that it's not adequate enough for you. you have any new weapons for me? No, you don't. you need upgrades too? Oh, well, you're not ready yet, huh? Okay, let's go. Maybe there's some ship parts I can get now? I mean, if I don't get anything good, I'll just leave, re-enter, and see what, uh, Ilchemist can sell me now. Huh? Hey, Vice! Thanks for the food yesterday. It was delicious. Oh, Gilder! You're leaving already? Yeah, I need to get going. Before I go, I have some news for you. I found out some information on the Armada's latest project. I just heard about this the other day. It appears that Valo has begun advancing into the lower altitudes. I heard that north of Pirate Isle, somewhere beneath the clouds, they're building a base on Dangrel Island. It's just a rumor, but I heard that they're building a ship that can go into deep sky. Deep sky? Yes. Beneath a thick layer of clouds, immersed in total darkness, there is a bottom of the world. No one has ever seen what's below the clouds. Some people say that it's completely dead. What could they be looking for down there? I don't know. But Venus ships sank beneath the clouds, right? Hmm, you're right. That must be what they're after. Thanks, Gilder. I'll go check it out. You don't need to thank me. Good luck, Fies. 
Fun fact, if you go, like, uh, in the lower part of the sky, you can actually see Dangrel Island. And you can interact with it, but you can't even go in there. Do I not have an ancient cannon? You know, I'll just buy one. Just because. Yeah. Goodbye, Yamato Spirit. It was a good run. And what the hell, buy an air intake as well, just because... Buy some rudder grease and machine oil. Alright, bye. Oh wait, maybe I should. Let me just talk to you. Okay, you don't want to upgrade the shop. Alright, bye. So, Dangrel Island is our next destination. However, what is Alchemist going to be selling now? If I leave him alone to his devices... What else could he sell me that we don't already need? Because it better be something that's worth, you know, over 100,000 gold that I've been stockpiling for so long that I'm just gonna end up like a dragon in a cave. Well, let's find out what he's got. Seems like we're almost in the home stretch of the game too. I'm glad you like it. Ilkimus, I wanted to ask you, why did you decide to devote your entire life to medicine? Before you joined my crew, you lived on that little island all by yourself, mixing ingredients and making potions. Ha ha ha. You've been wondering why I decided to become a hermit? Well, I will tell you. Perhaps you will understand why I chose this life. My parents were both nobles from an upper city, so during my childhood I was well taken care of. Because of my family's wealth, I was able to buy all of the books I wanted. I read all the time, you see. One day, on my way to the bookstore, I saw a very sick man from Lower City. He crawled into Upper City on his hands and knees. He was begging for money, so he would buy medicine, but no one would help him. I ran to the shop to try and help the man. When I returned, he was already... dead. I felt so helpless. From that day on, I decided that I would devote my life to helping others. I spent days alone in my room reading about all the different types of medicines and potions. In time, I became one of Valua's best researchers. I wanted to make medicines that the people in Lower City could afford. I wanted to help people, but Valua had other plans for me. No, you're gonna charge more than $37 for this insulin. Wait, what? <laughs> They wanted me to make weapons for the military. Shortly after, I fled Valoa and found an island where I could continue my studies. Sorry if my story seemed a bit long. I believe in you, Vise. Though you are a warrior, you are fighting for the right cause. And that is why I want to aid you in your fight. I will do everything in my power to assist you and your crew. Alright, what are you going to sell me now? Oh! Oh! Okay! Um... Hey, Vyze! You wanna go and... Just load up on everything you can possibly have? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit bricks. Kinda break the game wide open. 
Okay, let's get some Paranta Seeds. I'm gonna buy ten of those. Hey, Aika, I heard you're not quick enough. Let's get you some more. Hey, no, we had this little problem that Enrique wasn't doing that much damage. Might have an excuse to use Judgment, so I'll buy some more Paranta Seeds for you, too. Please come again. Okay. Oh, I will. When I have more money, I'll be back. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. Eh, sure. I want them to catch up a tiny bit. I think the quick could go a long way. Oh, man. This is amazing. This is amazing. You know what? I think Omega Cyclone is affected by Will. So why not just give some to Ika as well? But Fina should get the most. Is Vigor, like, does Vigor govern defense? I think it does. And I've been worrying about Fina dying so much. I think Agile governs dodge rate. More HP? Here you go. Holy shit. Holy shit. Alchemist can sell us seeds. I forgot about this! Hi. I see you caught some moonfish. Blah 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 blah. Here, take it. I don't know what you can give me that I don't need anymore. Marksman gun? Thank you. Thank you for always bringing fish for me. Look how much Piccolo has grown. Whoa. And to think you used to be small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Tell me about it. Who would have thought that it would grow this big? Piccolo, let's go play over there. Sure. Maria, be careful. If that big guy starts running around. This rickety old ship won't hold together long. I know. Piccolo, come on. Over here. I just wanted to thank you, guys. Because of you and your crew, Maria has finally come out of her shell. She's become herself again. In return, well, that's a strange way to put it, but in return, I'll tell you the rest of my story. It's hard for me to talk about it, but if Maria could be strong enough to get over her past, I can't sit here and dwell on my past, either. I guess I've finally become strong enough to realize that. Doc! Well, you must know, and I'll tell you. I'll tell you the tragedy that befell Ramirez. Depend on a person too much, and they will betray your trust sooner or later, or so Galcian told Ramirez. Maybe that hit a little close to home, I don't know, but for whatever reason, Ramirez began to snoop around for information regarding Mendoza. And that's when we found out that, that Mendoza was using the Ixatakans as slaves for his own personal profit. He forced the Ixatakans to work a few extra hours here and there pocketed all the extra moonstones that they found for himself. The shock of this discovery was almost too much for Ramirez to bear. He went directly to Admiral Mendoza and confronted him. My lord! Is... is it true? Is it true about the moonstones? And the Ixatakan slaves? I won't lie to you. Yes, it is true. But what's the problem? Is there something wrong with making money? With desiring wealth and power? 
You are forcing the Ixotakas to work grueling hours in inhumane conditions! Lord, you promised me. You told me that you would speak to Her Majesty in regards to the way the Ixotakans are being treated. Ha <laughs> ha You truly are naive, aren't you? And what exactly do you think what would have happened if I did that? Her Majesty would find out about my little scheme, and I would basically be signing my own death warrant. How? How could you lie to me like that? It is quite unfortunate that things had to turn out this way, Ramirez. And to think I thought of you as a son. Regardless, you have uncovered my plans, and have left me with no choice. Guards! Seize him! Everything. All that I believed in. Arrgh! By the time I got there, it was already too late. The guards, even Admiral Mendoza, they had all fallen under Ramirez's blade. Ramirez! What? What have you done? I... I'm sorry, Doc. But I can no longer trust humans. I can no longer remain here. Wait! Ramirez! Where are you going? Goodbye, Doc. The Ramirez that you knew is no more. He died the moment I drew my blade against Admiral Mendoza. From now on, I will only believe in strength. I shall only follow those with power. Wait! Ramirez! 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 And so, Ramirez went to Galsian's side, and I believe you know the rest of the story. I spent so much time with both Mendoza and Ramirez, and yet I could do nothing to stop this tragedy from happening. If I only had the strength to stop him, Mendoza, Ramirez, and even Maria, all of their lives would have turned out so much differently. Doc. I know, I know. I'm gonna stop living in the past. Just gotta keep looking forward and hope for the best. Besides, I think it's a blessing that I was able to save Maria from the burning wreckage of the Ikea. <gasps> Ikea! The name! Wait a second there, Fina. You don't think... But I heard that some air pirates that were passing through the area helped save most of the crew after we left, though. Hey, Doc! Maria wouldn't happen to have an older sister, would she? Actually, she did. Wait, did I forget to tell you that? Well, unfortunately, she went missing after the accident. Nobody knows what happened to her. Poor Piast doll. It's bothered me for years that I couldn't save both of them. Fies! Then it is her! Uh huh. There's no doubt about it. Maria and Piastol are long lost sisters! We gotta tell Piastol! Piastol said she would come to fight us again sometime. When we see her, we'll tell her everything we know. What she does with this information is up to her. Things are really starting to get a little dicey now. So we still gotta fight Piastol yet again. Hopefully for the last time. See, she did say she's gonna give it everything she got. So I think we're very close to the crescendo. Alright, so where's Dangrel Island? I think it's this one, right? I know there's an island nearby. Which one is it? Or maybe it's this. Yeah, I think it's this place right here. Anyway, we should just stop the video right now. And then the next part, we're gonna pay a visit to Dangrel Island. See everyone, thanks for watching.